Do you want to grab your audience's attention and explain complex ideas simply? Whiteboard animation videos are the perfect solution, and in this video, we'll show you how to create your own whiteboard animation using Canva, even if you're a complete beginner. So we'll start by opening canva.com, and then we'll create a new design for our animation. I'm going to set this to a full HD resolution, or 1920 by 1080, which is more than enough. Once we create a new blank design, it's time to first create the photo with the text, the elements, the photos, or whatever you want to animate using the whiteboard animation, it really doesn't matter. So create a complex design if you need to, or create a super simple one. I'm going to add the name of my channel as an example for this video, and I will also add a little YouTube logo right under the name. By the way, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to AppTutor for more similar tutorial videos like this one. It would really help me out. The whiteboard animation is going to look a lot cooler if you add a little sketch of whatever you're explaining or presenting, and I'll add a little laptop and a camera, but you can do this with anything. I'm going to go over to my elements section, and then I'm going to type person sketch or laptop sketch, whichever you need for your animation. Here's a cool little sketch which I'll add to my design. I've also added the camera and my design is now finished, but how can I animate it and create that hand drawing effect? The first thing which I'll need to do is to save this photo to my computer, and I recommend that you save this as a JPG file. Once the photo is saved, we're going to use a free Canva application in order to animate this. You'll want to tap on the Apps section, which is located at the left side of the user interface, and then you'll want to type Speed Painter in the search bar, and then hit enter on your keyboard. This is going to give me a list of different applications, but I recommend you use these two apps. The second one will prompt you to create a free account, but it's much more flexible and you can customize it a lot more. So let's open the second app and show you how it's done. The first thing which we need to do is to upload our photo, which we had just saved to our computer, and that's the photo which we'll want to animate. You can then adjust the frame rate of the animation, and I'll just leave it at 60 FPS. We then have these two sliders on the page, and they allow us to adjust how long our animation will last. You can set it to be very fast and set this to three or four seconds, or if you want the sketch to last longer, set it to around 10 or 15 seconds for the optimum results. You can use the second slider to adjust the sketch duration for the color. Some other things which you can do is to select a hand animation of your choice, the sketch style, and a couple more things. So take your time here and adjust everything to your liking. And as I said, you'll have to log in or create a free account in order to animate this photo with the hand drawing. But you can use the first application, which has a lot less control, but you can quickly adjust this and then tap on the Generate button. Wait a minute or two until Canva animates this and creates a whiteboard animation. You can see how this turned out. It looks really cool and... You can repeat the process for other pages as well. And the best part is that it's absolutely free. Tell me in the comments down below if this tutorial worked for you. And if it did, please leave a like on this video because it would really help me out. Thank you so much for watching everyone. And I will see you in the next video.